Harry, the weekly Halfpoint ceremony is about to start. You don't want to miss it. Actually, I probably do if Slytherin is going to win again. Are you interested in trading? What do you have? I have a silver wizard card, guaranteed not to tarnish. Does that mean the cards are made of actual silver, not just silver-colored paper? Although 256 beans for a silver card is pretty good, I think I'll buy a couple more. Just hand them to me. Don't throw them on the fucking ground. What did I just say? You don't listen, do you? Fuck's sake. Three silver cards is a nice start to an episode, though. Very nice. Yeah, I forgot she was waiting for me. But now I can finally get up here and see what's in this chest. And an orange card, too. Pretty good haul after only a minute of gameplay so far. God damn it. Fuck, I can already see the results from out here. Another house point ceremony. Let's I don't even know what to do to improve Gryffindor's score. They're nearly 100 points ahead now. Although maybe by the time I beat this game I won't care, I don't know. It's in the lead. Draco, looks like you get a chance to collect some beans. Why does Harry always stand with his arms held away from him? Everyone else keeps their hands at their sides like a normal fucking person. Oh yeah, and fuck you, Draco. Now that I think about it, I've never explored this house ceremony room. Yes, that room. I wonder if there's any hidden secrets in here. Why aren't they talking? We share a common room, fucknuts. Fuck you, then. None of the shields do anything, and everything else looks normal in here. upset Moaning Myrtle. You mean more than usual? I could hear her wailing all the way from the grand staircase. And the court outside her bathroom is flooded again. You don't think someone else has been attacked, do you? Anything could have happened. Come on, let's go see what's up. Yeah, okay, fine. Would you be interested in trading? You f fuck! I literally just talked to you, shit wagon. God damn, selling three silver cards wasn't enough, huh? It's like, okay, the forward momentum of that jump was just totally oh, shut God, down. Harry. I fucking hate when you guys do that. I guess I'll explore these Spongify tiles and see where they take me, but... Yeah, let's just keep returning to the scene of the crime repeatedly, like some people would expect the actual attackers to do. Revisit where they committed some sort of atrocity. They really are quite lenient on how far you can fall before you start taking damage. It's nice. Who's that? Come to throw something else at me? Someone threw something at you? Yes, they did. It's over there. What, that ice cream sandwich? I'd be pretty glad if people were tossing ice cream my way. Careful! My dad told me some books can be very dangerous. It yeah, some books... Eh, a joke about paper cuts isn't funny. Not because it's a shitty attempt at humor or anything, but because that shit really hurts. One time, I think I was in the third grade, I got a paper cut under my fingernail. I was standing over the, my backpack. My name is Tom Riddle. And I had some textbooks with random papers sticking out of it that I had in between some of the pages. Anyways, and I don't know why, but I ended up with cookie crumbs on top of that top side of the book in between the hardback cover and the loose leaf pages that I had stuck in there. And I just took the tips of my fingers and started brushing the crumbs out of there and ended up with a paper cut under my fingernail. And I have never made that mistake ever again. I can take you inside my memory.
Harry was entranced by the memory Tom Riddle showed him. Come on. Very I'm nice. They here. stuck with the sepia color scheme Come and everything. I wonder if I can jump on his back though. It's all right. <sighs> Come on out. There you yeah, go. the semi-transparent body of Harry Even should have clued this. me that that wasn't going Why to do are you anything. Down here, Tom? It's all over. meant to kill anyone. He sort of looks like a cross between Mo and Curly of the Three Stooges. Come on, the least Hogwarts can do is make sure he killed that girl. I don't even know. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. I'm not even paying attention to what they're saying right now. No! Ah, my dumbass short attention span missed it. Oh, you're just going to walk after it? Harry had always known that Hagrid had an unfortunate liking for large, monstrous creatures. But he was equally certain that Hagrid would never mean to kill anybody. Riddle might have got the wrong person. Maybe some other monster was attacking people. How many monsters do you think this place can hold? We always knew Hagrid was expelled. And the attacks must have stopped then. Otherwise, Riddle wouldn't have got his award. Riddle's diary! It's gone! What? But only a Gryffindor could have stolen it. Nobody else knows our password. Exactly. Kill this now for a female basilisk, it's, it's got quite it a deep voice. Didn't you? I didn't hear anything. Harry, I think I've just understood something. I've got to go to the library. Okay, it was nice God, knowing you. We have to stay in here unless we're in class. And I've got to talk to Hagrid. If he set the monster loose last time, he knows how to get inside the Chamber of Secrets. Hagrid's he was like trying not, not to tell you anything about that. the Sorcerer's Stone Sorry, last year. You really think he wants to talk about the Chamber of Secrets now? Alex, Especially if he did, in fact, get expelled over it. Which, of course, he didn't. Wow, okay. I wonder which of my friends was hiding that in there. It's mine now. I can't jump on a chair? That's fucking weird, just standing there waiting. Damn, I was almost able to get ahead of Ron. I'm so close, but it's just no use. I don't know why I thought that might slow him down. These lucky bastards get to live in school at night. You ever have one of those events where maybe it's a Halloween party at your school when you were still in second grade or whatever, and the gathering might have been in the gym or the lunchroom or something, but you might be able to wander around the hallways where only the nighttime or emergency lights are on, casting the outside of the familiar classrooms in an eerie darkness? That shit was so awesome. Here's the hut. <laughs> saw someone who looks very much like Lucius Malfoy coming into Hagrid's heart. Why are you telling me to shush and then talking to me in a normal volume? I'm sure walking on the grass didn't make as much noise as you did just then. Bad business, Hagrid. A very bad business indeed. Things have gone far enough. As chairman of the school governors, I've simply got to act and send you away. Away? The way to where? Not the wizard prison. Not Azkaban. I'm afraid so. A dreadful thing, Dumbledore. But all twelve of the governors feel it's time for you to step aside. As of this moment, you are suspended as headmaster of Hogwarts. If the governors want my removal, Lucius, I shall, of course, step aside. No! I <laughs> truly have left this school when none here are loyal to me. You will also find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Ask who? You? While you're not here? Of course, if anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them, right? That's the key to the whole thing. And that's all I'm saying. Come along now, Hagrid. All right, I'm coming. 
What the fuck, Hagrid? You saw us and knew we were back there the whole time? Dumbledore and Lucifer Malfoy didn't see us, though? You look fucking weird when you just turn around and give advice like that into thin air. Of course, in the book and movie, Harry and Ron actually made it inside the hut under the invisibility cloak, so it made sense for you to deliver a cryptic message like that. I feel like an asshole sometimes not editing these mundane parts out when I run around collecting beans, but fuck it. I can walk on the side of that stump? Okay, I can't recreate it now. Beans and feeding troughs now? What the shit, Hagrid? You're feeding these... to some poor creatures? Probably has a ton of high fructose corn syrup in it. Well, Ron, for someone who's afraid of spiders, you sure seem eager enough to go into the Forbidden Forest again. This ledge is too high to climb. I'll give you a leg up, Harry. You'd have to break the Forbidden Forest alone. Oh, I see. You're gonna fucking leave me hanging out here. Good luck, Harry! Fuck you, lazy asshole, leaving me to do the spider shit on my own. Some sidekick you are. That's throwing me at a spider. I could not deal with shit like this in real life. I have a fear of heights, a fear of spiders to a lesser extent, and a conditional fear of the dark sometimes. And what I mean by that is, like, if it's pitch black but I'm in my bed in my bedroom, that's not scary. If it's pitch black but I'm lost in the middle of a forest in the middle of the night, then that's obviously a much different situation. It depends, you know? I guess I wouldn't be afraid of heights in an airplane, either. Sometimes these beans look like pills. It's probably the least appetizing thing you could... eat. I guess I'll see what that other spongify tile does. Ooh, a hidden area. Although, maybe I'll check out the Spongify tile first. Are you shitting me? And I have to watch this cutscene again. This ledge is too high to climb. Use Flipendo, you shit nuggets. You'll have to break the Forbidden Forest alone. Fuck you, Ron. Good luck, Harry! I guess I'll try that other Spongify tile first now. Well, fuck, can I get back there now? God damn it. Yeah, just jump and hit the stone floor so hard you disappear into nothingness. This ledge is too high to climb. It seriously is bullshit they have to watch a cutscene all over again every time you die. At least it's not as bad as the cutscene before battling with Voldemort in the previous game, where you have to wait a full minute before you can try again and there's no way to skip it. But still, fucking bullshit. Of course I have to do all this again to get the beans and stuff. How does a spider web hold a heavy log into place anyways? Spongify. The spiders must be shitting out carbon nanotubes. Actually, I keep forgetting. Magic. Just a blanket explanation for everything, I guess. The beans with only two colors and no other patterns really do look like pills. Oh, okay. That one's just gone forever, I guess. I still gotta get this shit, too. Just don't fall. 
Where is this glow coming from? Nice. I mean, there's no crack letting in moonlight or anything. Now, for the love of God, don't fall. Okay, good. That's a relief. No, I didn't really have anything to say about shit. It's like a chemical weapon stockpile. Oh, there's a gnome mixed in here now. Don't worry, little guy. I'll save you. You're clearly better off if you hide in there away from the gases. Okay, fine. Be difficult then. Well, those things barely did any damage to me, though. I swear, they just don't do anything to you, these small ones. It was perfectly positioned to drop down on my head, and yet it came prematurely. Alright, I see what this is. Let's try to do it. Shit! Let's try to do this the rest of the way without stopping. Yes. Yes! And fuck yes. I love being able to do that. Although, there was an orange card up there. Hopefully this offers a way up to it. Aha! Perfect! I thought I heard a pixie, though. Well, that hurt me quite a bit. But how else was I supposed to get down? Oh yeah, there's a frog there. I guess I was supposed to go down the other way, hopping along those multiple spongify tiles down the outside of this hollowed out tree. Also, I think that chocolate frog jumped on the lit spongify tile while it was hopping around, and it didn't get launched in the air at 50 miles an hour. I guess that would be inconvenient if your medicine suddenly got bounced away from you like that. You'd be all like... You know, I can't think of anything funny to say other than to try and shoehorn a dead meme from last year into a bad joke. You remember that unicycling frog with the caption, Here come that boy! It might have been my favorite meme from 2016. There had better be something good in here if it warrants hijacking the in-game camera for a quick cutscene. There's that static noise again. What the hell causes that? Okay, silver card. I'd say that's something good. Why can't I knock the dead spiders out of the way with Rick Decempra? Did the spider corpse just explode? Eh, who cares? No one's going to miss it. Great, I have to deal with the demented version of walking potato gnomes now. Oops, I wasn't supposed to... Oh, well. Is it dead or just stunned like usual? Nah, it's moving. Did it just run against the water current like it was nothing but air? 
It was like a little cave it ran into as well. Wow. Uh, oh, so now I'm finding larger spiders that require me to hit them twice. Jesus. The legs are still twitching, though. I would never try this in real life, even if I knew for sure it was dead. Can you imagine spider legs grabbing you like a bear trap? Ugh, that might be the most nightmarish jump scare of all. So I had to deal with imps, spiders, and now these tree things that I forgot the name of. All in a row? I think there were three of each of those enemies. Is there something I'm missing here? I'm pretty sure I saw a chest up there. I'd like to get it before moving on. Actually, I might just be fucking stupid. I could have tried going through the blocked off area first, but I assumed it would take me further away from here. Yeah, I was just fucking stupid. It looped me right back up here. Just making sure nothing's here. Should I be expecting something? Oh, of course. Since when does a gnome hide in a chest? Hmm. I suppose I could have just thrown it down to the bottom of that tree that I climbed up a minute ago. That might have been a more satisfying way to get rid of it. got lucky. The ends of that log aren't even resting on either side of this gap. You just had the hope that it would fall in such a way that it would get stuck between two walls like that. On the other hand, maybe you're pretty unlucky after all. You've got to deal with all this crime solving and other dangerous stuff. And now you're stuck in a hole. Ooh. And you could have lost that card, too, into the Endless Abyss below. Oh, I forgot, I could make Wigan Weld potions. Or rather, that I still have some that I'm carrying with me. I could have used those to heal myself earlier. Guess I'll get a few more for now, even though I'm sparingly using them. Five more for a total of 13. I'll never use them all. This looks like some ominous shit. We could be near the end now. Oh, okay. Aragog, a human is here. Holy shit. Is it Hagrid? No, I'm a friend of Hagrid's. I came to help him. Why does Hagrid need help? Some say that Hagrid released a monster long ago in Hogwarts. It killed someone and it must have come back. It was me he released, but he sent me away. I've never gone back, 
and I've never heard anyone in Hogwarts. So you're not the guardian of the Chamber of Secrets? No, the guardian is an ancient creature that spiders fear above all others. It kill a girl in the bathroom, not I. You want to mention what that monster I was? Go now. No, you won't. I cannot deny my children such fresh meat. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. Now you're in for it. If I cut those support webs with Defindo, I bet Aragog will fall into the pit. Are you thinking Bite that to yourself or saying it out loud children. for them to hear? Jesus! Oh man, how many of these am I going to fight at the same time? Okay, well, so far so good. My children. I swear, these little spiders are actually trying to do something to me, but they just make it easier to get stepped on. I don't get it. I swear these little spiders are actually trying to do something to me, but they just make it easier to get stepped on. I don't get it. What was I supposed to cast at? A specific part of the webs? But I forgot where exactly. Oh. Son of a clit! That thing just fucking crawled out of the Earth's asshole with the speed of a... lawnmower. Aragog keeps yelling like he's in pain whenever I hit one of these support webs. I guess being blind and all his other senses are heightened and he can feel the web becoming increasingly unsteady. Well you should have thought of that before sending your arachnid assholes after me. I'm surprised I haven't been getting those larger spiders that require two hits yet. Oh, there it is. Should have attacked me all at once, though. Fucking idiots. That'll teach you, leg beard. Fuck! Man, I'm so glad that this isn't some kind of virtual reality game shit right now. And that it's just an image on a traditional two-dimensional monitor. I mean, look at this shit. Holy shit, it's fast when it charges. I like that they put the Rick Semper spell symbol on the spider's body in the same way that a Black Widow spider has the red hourglass marking. That's a nice touch. And it charges like that, and I can't describe how glad I am that this isn't in 3D where you have that overly used gimmick of things jumping out of the screen at you. At least this is straightforward and easy enough. I should be able to get through this in one try. Your health bar went away! Fucking die already! Still breathing. At least I learned something from Lockhart's class. Rictus Embra. Ah, excellent. Amazing work, Harry. And look, I found that car. Why are you standing so close to the edge of that hole? Did you already forget what's down there? And I'm pretty sure it's still alive too. Get back as soon as possible. Climb in. Get away from the hole! Damn, don't run so close to the edge. Oh yeah, Hermione's petrified too. We'll deal with that in the next episode. See ya.